This is how you're going to inspire him to chase you in a non-toxic way. First of all, please understand that this is the most natural way of courtship in the human history. That the man is always in pursuit of the woman trying to make her choose him trying to impress her and prove to her that he's good enough for her that way she's the one picking him not the other way around so my tip number one for you which should be a no-brainer but you'd be surprised at how many women that i work with actually do the exact opposite of this is that you don't chase him you do not chase him. You don't try to impress him. You don't try to arrange dates, to call him first, to text him first, to make him think of you, to make him choose you and pick you. You can't be chasing him and be chased at the same time. Makes sense, right? But how many times can you admit to yourself that you're the one that is trying to make him choose you? You're the one trying to make him to stay at the top of his head and you're sending the good morning messages and I'm thinking of you and sending a cute selfie of yourself just so he would remember you. How is he ever going to chase you if you're chasing him? So no more obvious forms of chasing. I also need you to stop chasing him in your head. Stop thinking about him all the time. Stop fantasizing about him. Stop checking to see if he saw your last story. Those are still chasing. If you have nothing else going on in your life but to think about him and obsess about him, that energy is all still going towards him. And people feel energy. Have you ever entered a room and immediately felt that there was a vibe there? It's the same thing. So it's really important that you have things going on in your life outside of your dating world that you love doing, that you're passionate about, that you're not going to just drop everything that you were doing the minute he, he calls you, the minute he asks you out on a last minute date, if you're available all the time, then he can feel that. He can see that there's nothing else going on in your world. And again, how is he going to be able to chase you if you're available all the time? If all your energy is reserved for him and he's not working hard to get it, then there is no chase. There is no nothing in there for him to chase. So tip number two was to have a life that you absolutely love so he's not the center of your attention. He doesn't want that. Healthy men don't want to be the center of your attention. They want to work hard for your attention, actually. They want you to have a life that you love so much that they become a part of it. They don't want to become your whole life. The third tip and a really important one is that when he is chasing you, when he is initiating contact, he's planning dates, that you actually recognize and appreciate it genuinely. It's not just about him putting in all the effort and getting no rewards. That's not fun for anyone. But if you actually receive him warmly, so when he does the things that you like, you let him know that it made you feel special. It feels good to get your text in the morning. It's so amazing when I get a phone call from you. I always lit up when I see your name on my phone. These things will encourage and inspire him to do more of it because when he does it, he gets rewarded for it. If you're new to my page, welcome. My name is Shahzad Paranda. I'm a certified dating and relationship coach. And since 2017, I've helped hundreds of women to find their soulmates and get the commitment that they want. So if that's what you're looking for, follow along because I have a lot more tips coming your way.